went everywhere. It was all over the place. And the balloon that was released the second time, it took the straight path, right? Which flight demonstrated focus? I would have to say the one that took the straight path. What do y'all think? Agreed. Okay. Which flight, with which flight were you able to tell where the balloon was going to go? Once again, the one that was focused. Okay, so I'm going to read Philippians 4, 8. And now, dear brothers and sisters, let me say one more thing to you before I close this letter. Fix your thoughts on what is true, honorable, and right. Think about things that are pure, lovely, and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of your praise. This verse tells us eight things that God instructs us to focus our thoughts on. Let's name those. True, honorable, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, and worthy of our praise. Those eight things. Okay, if we're focused on those eight things that are true, honorable, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, and praiseworthy, then we know that we are headed in the direction that God wants us to go, on the straight path like the balloon. Now, I know this is kind of a difficult time. We see a lot of things on the news that are, that are bad and you know, things aren't real good right now, but you know what? Like we've always said, and y'all know Miss Jamie says that, we can find the good. There's so many good things going on, so many things that are uh, admirable and praiseworthy and excellent. We have people making masks. We have our friends and needles ladies making masks to be donated. We have um, people donating food. We have all kinds of good things that are happening right now. And those are the things that we need to focus on, like that balloon, a straight path. We need to focus on all the good that's happening around us. Okay, guys? So if we are focused on what is true, honorable, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, and praiseworthy, then we know that we're headed in the direction God wants us to go. Which one of the things listed in Philippians 4, 8, the Satan-like? You're right, none of them. What happens if we decided not to do the honorable thing? Then we would be all over the place. Just like, you know, when we are focused on the bad things, like that balloon was going everywhere, that's how we're gonna be. So we need to, instead of focusing on the good, I mean the bad, sorry guys, we're gonna focus on the good. When we focus on godly things, like in Philippians 4, 8, we're moving in the direction that points us to God. Just like the balloon went straight from one end of the string to the other, when we don't pay attention to godly things, then our lives get confusing and we don't know where we're going or what we're doing. Just like the balloon that went all over everywhere, all over the place. So, okay guys, let's remember Philippians 4, 8. And now, dear brothers and sisters, let me say one more thing as I close this letter. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right. Think about things that are pure, lovely, and admirable. Think about things that are excellent, worthy of praise. So guys, let's start thinking about all the good and push the bad away. Okay, can y'all do that for me this week? And remind your parents of that too. Philippians 4, 8. Now let's bow our heads for a moment of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for letting us um, do this video for our kids and since we can't be together God we pray that you'll just watch over everyone protect us remember to keep good thoughts and push the bad thoughts away focus on the good God we pray that you'll watch over us and protect us always we love you in Jesus name we pray amen bye guys I hope to see y'all soon if not I'll surely see you next Sunday on a video till then